Well, I've come up to Noble's Hospital to the Jane Crookle Award. With me is Heather and Gary, brother and sister. Uh, Heather, your story is touching a lot of people I know already um, have heard what's going on. And I know you don't mind talking about it. I'm probably more finding it harder. But can you explain what's going on here and what, what, you know, what we're doing? Um, basically, two weeks ago, I got diagnosed with breast cancer grade 3. And then I had to have CT scans because I couldn't breathe. I went into A&E and they did x-rays and stuff and now it's spread to my bones. So they've been told that about two weeks ago that I've got like between one and five years to live. And I've started chemo two weeks ago. But it's only and you're hard. pregnant? And I'm, yeah, 20 weeks pregnant. It is definitely tough. I mean, this is, you, you see, they kind of, you just say it matter of fact, yeah. I'm, I'm, I say it's hitting me more probably than, uh, obviously, I mean, is the baby okay? The baby's okay. Um, they said that the chemo is safe enough just to do chemo, but it's not the full chemo, it's only like half the chemo. And they basically said my hair's going to fall out and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Okay. The baby's going to come early then, right? Um, they did say 34 weeks, but um, we need to find a decision on Monday when the doctor comes from Clarebridge, when and what's going to happen. Right, well, Gary, I, I know you've taken a bo on board to do a bit of fundraising. This is what we're here really to talk yeah. about. Uh, to you, You're going to get married? Yeah. And you want to get that sorted? And, and also, I think, the bucket list of some sort. But anyway, yeah. how, what, what have you organised? Um, well, on Tuesday at half seven, there's a... Um, bit of a do down at um, the Ville Marina. I've got uh, four local bands playing, I've got a series of auction um, things and raffle prizes and stuff like that and um, we've got sponsored head shave, hopefully got a male auction <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah I've got sponsored waxing and stuff like that and yeah. it's, it's all sorts really. Um, you set up a Just Giving page? Yeah I've set up a Just Giving page because obviously um, the sort of wedding you want. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a big wedding? Yeah. I've got like 23 bridesmaids. I what? Want, <laughs> I want to go in the church on a Segway. I want <laughs> the girls on quad bikes. I want Shetland ponies. I want <laughs> Sam on a unicorn. And Gary to go in on a donkey. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah, I know about oh, yeah. this. The worst thing about it is the suit, isn't it? Yeah, the suit's like purple, like a quality street rapper. And then after do, I want it at the fun barn with like uh, the Buck and Bronco, Zuma, Wrestle Suits, Gladiator things. Just have a massive party with oh. everyone there. I know your colleagues at Alman Bank, isn't it, have, yeah. have really supported you on this. And yeah. I think people get tickets from, from the outlets. Yeah. And that, isn't it? yeah, every bank on the Alman has um, 50 tickets, but I think they will sell out pretty yeah. quick. So if anybody's wanting them, it's just to go and get them now, really. Will you be there or will you be here? I mean, what's the... They're letting me out for like a few hours, but I've got to be careful because I've had the chemo, so my immune system's down. So I'll be allowed to go for a few hours if I'm okay. Can we just talk about the other people who are watching this who, you know, maybe going through chemo or whatever? I mean, what's it like? Is it so far? I mean, you're doing okay, right? Yeah, it's just basically you just get a drip in your hand, so then you're there for about an hour or two. And then afterwards, I felt quite normal, some people don't, but like it hits you about a few days later and you just feel like fluey. Yeah. And then you're okay again. And, and the baby's fine from all this? Then? Yeah, I've had scans and stuff, so he's obese at the minute, so he's pretty fat. <laughs> he's like his father. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he's good at the minute. I think you give lots of inspiration to people, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's obviously quite hitting the whole families here and everything. Um, on the night you need to make some money then basically for this amazing wedding and a bucket list what do you want to do on the bucket list i want to go to dubai and jump out of a plane i want to go to thailand and ride an elephant i want to go to italy and go down that little stream where they sing one cornetto and <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do i want to do yeah just go on like loads of holidays with my friends and family like when the baby's big enough hopefully go to disneyland and then lapland to see santa and just things like that. And when you hear, so for asking, but you know, when you heard that it was terminal, I mean, surely that, that must be some devastation to news, isn't it? Yeah, I have been in shock. I've had my ups and down days, but I just can't. It is what it is. I feel like really disappointed in how I've got here, but I can't do anything about it. And your your life, you know, the baby's life 
can live on. That's obviously yeah, really important. We had IVF and we tried for like three years to have the baby and then we got it. It happened and now it's like pretty much like got a short time with it, so it was quite upsetting. And it could have been caught earlier, but. On the same side, yeah. Okay, so um, anything else about the, the night on Tuesday? Uh, Villa Marina? Yeah. The main, main room or the small room? It's the main hall. Oh, wow, the main hall. Yeah, we've got the main hall. Um, the Villa Marina staff have been brilliant. Um, the Holy Isle Man has been brilliant. The organisations and businesses which have donated. Yeah, everyone's been really kind and generous. The midwives have been amazing. Ward 4 have been amazing. Had really great support around us and stuff. And that just giving page, do you know it offhand, or should we just put the details um, on the screen? It, it's just given, yeah. um, and then it's uh, forward slash Heather's bucket list. All right. So okay. it's pretty simple. And how much the tickets, should we say? Uh, they're five pound each. Yeah. Um, with it being Christmas, we didn't want to to charge too much. But there is four really good bands yeah. playing and stuff like that. So it's going to be a good night, no matter what. So, <laughs> so besides the just giving page, I know you're also raising some other money. Yeah, we're raising money for the Alman Breast Care Charity, um, the Jane Krukel and the Special Care Baby Unit, which is essentially the same thing, but we're just going to ask them what equipment or anything they need and we'll purchase that out of the fund. Um, so all the fund goes into a temporary bank account, which has been kindly set up by the Alman Bank, and then it'll be distributed from there. So it's just split between the three charities.